You're listening to the Beer Coasters Podcast, the number one self-absorbed beer show from coast to coast and every once in a while in between. Hey, I'm Dylan, brewer at Cape Ann Brewing, and you're listening to the Beer Coasters. My name is Charles Finkel, and I'm the founder and the president of the Pike Brewing Company here in Seattle. I'm uh, glad to uh, to be on the Beer Coasters. Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to the Beer Coasters Podcast, Season 5. This is an entirely self-absorbed beer show devoted to bringing you the best and worst in mostly American craft beer from coast to coast and every once in a while in between. I'll be your host this week. This is Toby in Las Vegas, Nevada, and joining me is... This is Chris in Dallas, Texas. And it's Big A Scott, also in Dallas, Texas. And Beer Crystal Mike in Boston. And Crazy Dave from Temecula, California. All right, so this week, get ready for some sours, you mother pocker. <laughs> mother fucking <laughs> trade, mother <laughs> snoop, mother death row. Yo, yeah. look out, here comes my left blow. That's how okay. we're rolling this week. So we're yeah. drinking some homies. sour beers. Yeah. Yes. And Very uh, sour. When they're not. It's not um, style specific this week, but they are all sour. Sour. Yeah. They should be. Like 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 like, like sour patch kids. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Like sour patch kids. Just yeah. like them. I'm sure. Yeah. The it's same. Not at all. Sour we're, patch we're kids beer. Trying to uh, you know give Scott some sort of you know idea of what he's getting himself into this week. <laughs> Oh so, boy! Pucker up for the uh, for the beer we will be drinking in our fermentation <clears throat> conversation and also our YouTube that you're watching right here. That we are drinking the right Pet- Petrus Petrus Aged Pale. Yeah, look, I it comes in two bottle. sizes. You can get the little bottles or like, the big bottle. Yep, you got the big old. Yeah, I got the big mil. bottle. Oh, I'll be sharing it with the wife. So. Yeah, and even if I wasn't sharing it with the wife, I'd probably get the big bottle anyways. <laughs> it's always good to share the big bottle with the wife. Yeah. That's it is right. good. So, uh... I see those videos with the girls in the bottom. Anyway. For the, for anyway. the rest of the show that you will... <laughs> for the rest of the show you'll hear... Conversation uh, violation. Crazy Dave. This, this weekend, for the rest of the show... two minutes silence. <laughs> you will... Jeez. Uh, we got some other beers that we'll be trying on our uh, on the full episode that you will hear this Friday, or Saturday, or Sunday. Uh, Chris, what will you be drinking? <laughs> well, myself and Big Gay Scott this week are trying the Funk Metal from Jester King Brewery. Funk Metal. So um, it's a sour stout. Funk Metal. Whoa. Yeah. I've, I've been warned about this. Sour I'm, stout. I'm concerned. Big. Big Honestly. Gay Scott is it? Okay, Dave. I think Big Gay Scott's in for a for surprise. Trip. Some funk. Cool. Yeah. What about you, man? I'm. I'm gonna try. I'm not representing the East Coast this week, but I'm very excited about my beer. I'm gonna try Lost Abbey's Red Poppy. Ooh. And don't yeah. tell Renee, but I spent Fancy. like. 20 bucks on this little bottle of beer. Yeah. I bought one once and I haven't bought one since. <laughs> what about you, Dave? Um, I'm going to be drinking uh, Anchorage Brewing's Anadromous Belgian Black Beer. It sounds like it's a typo, doesn't it? No, no, actually it's a ty- yeah. it's a, it's a type of fish. Well, I'll talk about that later. And no, I will be typo. drinking... Uh, Uinta Brewing's birthday suit 20th anniversary. It's from their Crooked Line suit. series. And it's a sour brown. Mm, so nice. what do you say? We we drink what we're here to drink. Yeah! Hey. Hey, Coos. But I gotta... No. So, my, mine no, still no. has the foil oh, on it. Well, I guess I'm you only get the foil yeah, with I the unfoiled big mine but like, uh, previously. You only get the foil once. We well, you know, on the... On the on the bottle, it says here it's uh, my, mine says Belgian style sour ale 2012. Does yours guys have a date? I don't know. Where's the date? 
I don't know. It just yes, says right. Twenty twelve. Where does yours say? On, on the top, like right, right there. Like, like, yeah. The, the, Our, mine is caged in cork, so I guess if it's a big bottle, also it'll be caged in cork. Mine's not. It's just a cap. But anyhow, this does say wait, that it's wait, a wait, 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 wait. Okay. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> that wasn't quite as authentic that time, Scott. No, it was a little bit of a throwback. It was poorly timed. Wait, so you guys cracked them already? Well, who's talking about this? Yeah. I believe it's supposed to be Toby, yes, but he's I already busy pouring. Well, apparently the label says so, this is the world's best flavored wood-aged 2012 WBA World Beer Awards. Yes. And also, uh, apparently the, the reason that we have this in the United States and that it is bottled is because of Michael Jackson, the beer hunter, when he visited this brewery and suggested to them that they need to bottle and, <laughs> and sell this beer. And that's why one of the reasons why we have it today. This is crystal clear. Um, this is a Flanders Ode Bruin, according to Beer Advocate. Um, the Petrus website just says aged pale. Actually, it's Bavik. Dot B E Bavik or Bavik Brewing or Brewerij de Bavik is the uh, the brewer, and this is the Petrus is a series uh, that they do. Uh, and, uh, you're, back, and you're going to have to live Belgium, and you, they've been brewing since 1894. You're totally going to have to let Google uh, like translate the website and for you, though. This is actually a light version of the old Bruin, right? Yeah, I believe so. And not a light version, a pale version. Comes in at 7.3 percent huh. ABV. Uh, this is uh, the Petrus Aged Pale is apparently their mother beer, and they use it in uh, quantities of this beer in some of their other Petrus beers. Ah. And, it, and it is aged in oak barrels for 24 to 36 months. Jeez. So wow. now I will pour mine. I'm already sniffing mine. Oh, it's it's it pours out clear. I mean, it's it's real. Yeah. It, like it says, real crystal clear. Now I'm getting like a chill haze on it, but yeah, uh, like there was I've good. got almost no head. Yeah, it dissipated uh, but, super quick. But I'm getting, I get some real fine carbonation coming up from the bottom of the glass still. Yep. Yeah, really so. fine. It is super sparkly clear. Tiny bubbles in the <laughs> smell, not wine. I'm smelling it, yeah. but I smell apples, like like green apple. Yeah. And a little bit of grape. Oh yeah. my. Mm -hmm. Some grape, some funky. Some uh, funky, earthy, grapey nut. Oh, and it's also dry hopped. I didn't mention that. It's also, yeah, dry hopped. Yeah, I missed the whole color part and the nose part. You did. No, we We're still nosing. Nose where we haven't sipped yet. Well, you know something. I don't know if this is the 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 translation on the website, but like under products, they have Bavik, Wheatkirk. Ass, Peter, <laughs> Hypocrite, <laughs> Umaga, Soft Drinks, Wines, and Quermont. So I don't know what ass is about, but... I bet you do know what ass is about. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, getting getting a lot of uh, apple, like you guys were saying, more, yeah. more yeah. like an apple skin. So oh, under ass like is Donkey Brown, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm, I'm dead serious. Here, for our Google uh, viewers, you get to see what I'm looking at on my screen uh, right now. So I or, went to or, ass. For those that care about the beer, donkey brown. Maybe, maybe we'll talk about that. And drink yeah, it. The, the beer that we're drinking. <laughs> but sometimes they just I like it an ass. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to take a sip. <laughs> All right. No I'll sour. sip it. I'm concerned, but I'm going to sip it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> It's sour, but I expect uh. a heck of a lot more sweetness. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. That is just straight sour. Sour, sour, sour. It keeps getting sourer. And a very <laughs> light. Oh. But it's addicting. Whoa. It's. A, I want to drink more. It is like a, it's like uh. a like peach, you know, uh, like a fresh peach that maybe uh, not super... Um, fresh? Not like an overripe peach, not like a juicy peach, but... Something a little dry, like, like, under like, um, like underripe. Well, not a, not a peach. Wow. Another one. Nectarine. Nectarine. That's what yeah. I'm thinking of. Nectarine. That's what this reminds me of. 
Yeah. You're right though. The that nectarine it, with some woodiness. It's it's sour and gets more sour. It's weird. It really does. It's, like, it's, it's weird. Kind of a, like it but it's got this right maltiness away. on the finish. But I'm with Dave. It's it's kind of like, hey, taste this. Wow. Hey, taste it again. It's, right. I want to not like it, but... I think that that is the attraction to a lot of these sour beers, is that... I mean, people say, oh, this is sour, I don't, you know, whatever, but deep down, everybody likes something that's sour. I love me some... I love sucking on some Sour Patch. Right. (laughs) Raw. (laughs) I like Sour Patch, kids. They're just good. Like, you know, you just like eating them and eating them until your, like, mouth gets totally destroyed by the little sugar crystals or whatever it is. It, I'm not. I really thought there'd be more sweetness, and and there's yeah. just a lot of tart, and then some very light kind of, um, you know, granule like grainy kind of maltiness. And then after a while, it's just gone. My palate has been but, completely cleansed, and maybe that's well, that, why we you keep going I'd back really to, like to it. Try it's well, it's. The Does it burn off the top layer of the palate? Is that <laughs> no, no? It happens? just, it just, it just, it cleans up and goes away, and then like you just, you're left with like a, like a little See, bit of malt finish on the end, and then it goes. It doesn't, it doesn't though. I mean, you guys say that, but maybe it's got front, a lot of acidity. Yeah, right especially here. in the back, in the back of the mouth, it's it hangs around. It's this isn't going anywhere. No, it's a long, it, it long does, finish. It is, yeah, it, and it does dry up. Obviously, because of the, the massive amount of carbonation in it. Well, that's so it, yeah. It the does thing have it a crisp. Very, it's very effervescent. Yeah. So it, it it is very crisp and it does finish very clean, but it's it's still there. My mouth is watering like crazy right now. Yeah. That's what like makes you want to drink it more and more. Yeah, it makes is that you what it is? Because yeah. like your mouth just starts salivating. salivating. Like, oh, it's, I yeah. That. It's that acidity. So you immediately just, think like, ooh, more of that. Yeah. And I keep. I, I think I, drinking it. Yeah, I, I think I think there's really like some sort of like physiological thing that just makes you like, like when you start salivating, you just want to drink some more, and then you salivate mm. more, and it just it builds up, and then the endorphins start going, and you just get excited, and you know, pop a boner, and, and you're drunk. Like you're, yeah. <laughs> or maybe it's what just you guys care with this one. <clears throat> Anyone? Jeez. An Anyone? apple tart. Yeah. Uh, um. Something that's sweet and doughy. Ooh, ooh. I would pair it with sour broughton and red cabbage. Wow, that's actually pretty good. All right. Hmm. Yeah. Mike. Well, I like the actually the idea of a dessert, and I'm thinking like an apple Danish, like apple cheese Danish or something. Yeah. But that's kind of what I want with this. Something that's got a. Um, kind of good fresh appley tartness, but some sweetness in there, and the creaminess with the, the like the cheese. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think, think it. I would. I would play cheese yeah. well with this. I was yeah. thinking like a like a like a salmon with hollandaise sauce that was all wrapped up in a puff pastry. Ooh. Hmm. I have a name for that, don't they? Get what that's called. I don't know, but I, I think. <laughs> I think that might work. Puffy salmon. They call it puffy salmon. Oh, yeah. Call it puffy salmon. salmon. It's got it's to be a really rich holiday sauce. I mean, something that, that this can cut through. A.K.A. Salmon Combs. A- salmon A.K.A. Combs. A.K.A. <laughs> I'm with Mike on the cheese Danish. Totally. Nice. No, something creamy for sure. Yeah. Cheese Danish wins. Yeah. Papa. All right, everybody. Yes, well, everybody, it's the Perry Wars. Ding, 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 ding. Thanks bum, bum. for uh, checking out our tasting of the Petrus re- Aged Pale. Pale. Sorry, Petrus Aged Pale. This is yep. a uh, yep, yep, yep. Sour, sour. Interesting. Oh, we, did we ale. fail to mention that it was a World Beer Award winner? Or we, we didn't talk about. We didn't talk. About we didn't talk about anything about the ratings. Um, out of the untapped users, rate this a 3.91 out of 9,750 ratings. Wow. And the, the beer, beer advocate users rate this a 91, which is outstanding. outstanding. And the Brothers Allstrom rates this a 98, which is world class. The Brothers wow. got this one. Yeah. Right. Well, it's Belgian, so, you know. And it's I a think, World uh, Beer Award winner. 
Yeah, any of the big Belgian beers, I'm sure they've tried. Mm -hmm. They probably have a summer home in Belgium. <laughs> well, if you guys want to find out what we rate it, you guys got to tune in to, uh, to the show on iTunes or on our website, www.beercoasterspodcast.com. Uh, at the end of the show in our last call segment, you'll hear what our ratings are. And make a comment down there, too. Yeah, you, you can click mm -hmm. on it and, and say we'll, what you we'll want. put it on the show next week. You make a comment yeah. on this YouTube show, guaranteed your comment will be on next week. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I don't care what it is. Good, bad, or otherwise. Yeah. Well, so long as we can read it, you know, like if you just no, type it like, yeah. like KLSD. We'll try to translate as much as Google will allow us to. Mm -hmm. and, and, and try not to, to puss out and not, like, Put your real name or or no. Put your real name. Yeah, that, especially yeah, put your real you name. Know, if you're gonna actually if you're gonna have the courage to, to give us Be a negative bold. comment and <laughs> say who you are. Don't don't just troll. No trolling. <laughs> we should have a troll show. Ooh, Dave's the troll. Sort of. <laughs> troll here. All right. Uh, maybe a Muppet. <laughs> no, that's this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Cheers. And thanks for joining us again, and we will see you next week. Cheers. 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 Ending broadcast. <laughs>